time limits from Nepal. I came to Hong Kong in 2004, and I have been to the wine since 2004. All my past life in Nepal, I was idol worshiper. There wasn't any hope, and my life always was worry and worry and always think about the personal business and personal life. But when I found uh, uh, as a savior, my Lord Jesus Christ has his hope and eternal life, and I am happy day by day and rejoice in his name. It's divine, it's the providing me many courses, like a Alpha course, Million Leaders Mandate as a leadership course, and Manna course, Eliza House Prayer School, and Cleansing Steam, such a many and many kind of course. So that is the spiritual side and the physical side and my family side is the behind helping too much. Even I did not have money, but I did not worry. I always pray, but I decided. I surprised about that. I decided and they continue to help me my house rent and transportation, my son's education side, my family side, my daughter's grace, she born in Hong Kong. And every necessary is everything the vine provided me. In the vine, I am involving the many area, as a greeting side and a champion side, and as a service manager, and different and situation is where as the need. And the vine have plus Netflix plus, and I am leading them. In Christ, there is hope. Since 2004, I was a refugee in Hong Kong. And the United Nations and American Embassy, they decided resettlement to USA and granted visa. And they will provide me green card, then process citizenship. And I have a miracle, such a miracle. I was asylum seeker and refugees. I could not work. But something, when I give something to God, immediately he replied me. I am leaving Hong Kong on 12th of January, 2011. He has something planned in my life so that he chose me from the Hinduism to Christianity. Because half, more than half a million, more than half a million people, they are living in USA, all from Hindus and Buddhist background. They lost in the USA. Then I have a vision. I'm asking to God, show me. Always he's showing me the sheer gospel to Nepalese people in the USA. Please pray for that. I have vision, the divine church in the USA. Why not we start there? Because I realized we have good doctrine, good biblical study, and good community things when we're supporting each other. Everything I saw here, and I realized why we not start there. So, the wine church in USA. I want to say thank you again to the wine senior pastor, pastor, and all elders and believers and plus groups. Because we are moving to USA, we are going to meet you guys. But continue pray for me and my family and how to I can do something in the USA is God's will. This is my story. What's yours? Yeah, baby. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, can you put your hands together as we welcome up uh, Dinesh Sadhanar, his wife Sadhanar. Come on up, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, beautiful little girl is called Grace. She was born here in Hong Kong. Grace was like this big when I last saw her. She's like a lot bigger. Uh, this is Joy. She was born in the US of A. Fist bump. Very nice. This is Columbus, uh, who was born in Nepal, I believe. But, uh, but now, uh, obviously, he's been living in the US with these guys. And Sadna, his wife, and, and Dinesh, it's wonderful to have you with us. Uh, we just love you guys so much. And uh, I want to talk with you, Dinesh, a little bit about the ministry that you're doing in, in the US. And, uh, but thanks, guys, so much for being with us. It's great to see you. Let's give him another round of applause. Dinesh, you're sitting in the wrong chair, buddy. Yeah, this chair, here, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Microphone. There you go. I know you're shy. I know you're shy. Sit down. That's it. Hey, uh, I want to tell you one cool thing about Dinesh. Um, Dinesh has a passion to reach Nepalese. He's Nepalese, of course, to reach Nepalese with the gospel. Uh, and, uh, and then God decided to grant him a visa so that he was no longer a refugee to travel to this place called Burlington, Vermont. Now, when we heard about this as a church, we were like, Burlington what? Like, why are you sending this man and his family to Burlington, Vermont? Now, it turns out, we didn't know it at the time, but it turns out that Burlington is the one city in the U.S. where the United Nations has an agreement with the city, and they have sent 2,000 Nepalese to Burlington. So God decided to take a man who's really effective at bringing the gospel to Nepalese people to a town that has 2,000 Nepalese people that need to hear the gospel of Jesus. Isn't that pretty cool? So I love that. Um, yeah. So... Tell us about the, the ministry that you and the family are doing in, in Burlington. What, what, it, what is it exactly that you're doing there? First of all, thank you very much for the wine. You guys did so much. You trained me so much. And exact, Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. And we said, you are the vine and we are the branches. We are in USA. Exact the photocopy, what are here, we are trying over there. So when we left Hong Kong, 2011, January 18, we arrived U.S. It was such a huge snowstorm. And it's cold in Vermont. Very cold. In fact, we have some photos of how cold it is. There you go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that is the apartment. We, we enter first our step in US. So that is a small house. God provided us first night in US. It belonged to one of the church apartment and we paid rent for them. It is just next to the church. And we were praying for that. If we are far from our apartment and between the church, it would be hard to managing the church services. So God provided me same parking lot next to the apartment and next building, <laughs> our church. God provides for you a lot. Uh, many things. It's awesome. I love it. Um, now, in the five years that you've been there, you've seen over 100 people come to faith, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, and your church now is around about 100 members, about 70 or so that come regularly. Uh, tell us a little bit about the church ministry that you're doing, the Vine Church, Vermont. It was vision from God that we spoke here in front of the church. When I reached, when I been there, then the people were asking me, oh, can you be my church partner? Can you be my members? Can you be carry my umbrella? Oh, no, we have the vine. <laughs> <laughs> then I applied. I, I, by the way, I'm not paying him for any of this. I just, <laughs> very important. Sorry, carry on. Then I applied application the vine Nepalese Christian Church USA. The Vermont State of Vermont provided us license certificate 501c3 non perfect organization. Everything they have and we have there now. I think we have some photos of the church. Can we put up the, the photos of the church? They are there. there. Um, they, they meet in a, a, a local uh, Lutheran church, is it? Uh, it is congregational, they say. Congregational, yeah. Yes. Um, and they, they let them use it on a Saturday, uh, which is the traditional day that they go to church in Nepal. Uh, and uh, food is a big, we can see from this, food is a big part of what you do in your ministry. And I have to give Sadhana all the credit for the incredible food that you guys do. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the, the ministry of food that you guys have. <laughs> We ate every day here, seven years, spiritual food and the physical food. Then we decided that we welcome people in the airport. And we saw they are needy people when government is settled to US. Then when they go to their apartment, they have nothing. And we carry something and visit their house, provide some meal to them. Then we invite our home. I 
I'm not cook, but my wife prepare all the meal. You, you told me earlier this week that you haven't cooked a meal in your life. Let's be honest. Let's just put that out there. I am very lazy that yes, part. Yes, but your wife has... You're a typical man of God. Your wife, though, <laughs> has, has done a lot of amazing work with the food. Right, sorry, I'll shut up. Uh, I prepare the message in this gospel. <laughs> and some testimony, and open computer, and show that video. Immediately, my wife, Sadhana, she prepare meal and bring on the table. Then we, we start physical and uh, spiritual food together. And people say no. And see, they never say no. And they try to uh, uh, trust Lord. And we back them. Okay, actually, every Saturday, we have church service. They do on Sunday. So we are using their building free of charge. But we are not attending on Sunday service over there because we are always busy in our group. Another thing, Friday and Wednesday, three days in a week, officially our church are always busy. Then that we have 24-hour service. Every Saturday morning we give them ride, bring to the church, provide service and provide meal, take them back to home and what they need take them to hospital, take them to grocery, even bank, laundries, everywhere, and even translate and help them, we are doing something. That, that's called church in the real sense of the word. That's amazing. Amen. <laughs> um, so, so these Nepalese arrive in, in Vermont and Burlington, and a lot of them can't speak English. And one of the things that uh, Dinesh does is he meets them in the airport. Uh, he helps to translate for them and all the things that they need to do to get settled. Uh, but, of course, through that, they share the gospel with them. They invite them into their home. They have a meal. Uh, the most effective gospel tool that you will ever have is your kitchen table. Amen? <laughs> Amen. Yeah, and, uh, and he, he, uh, he brings them around the table, and Sadhana puts on an incredible meal. Now, because of this, they have a house, and they have a garden. They have what, what you call the Vine Community Garden. Yes. Uh, tell us, uh, we're gonna have, we have some photos as well. Tell us a little bit about the Vine Community Garden. We had, we had here frozen food all the time. And Sadhana and we decided, why not organic food and fresh food over there? Little extra. And we... Actually, we lived to that apartment and God provided us a small house and it came a lot, actually land, 4.5 acres in the U.S. Then we call manna is the, the 200 kind of vegetables we have. Two, wait, 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 wait. 200, 200 kind of Nepal. 200 yeah. different kinds of vegetables. Vegetables we have. And uh, the we ride down there on the street and uh, on the garden side, actually, the vine community garden, then grace by God, free vegetable. Because we realize people stop their car next to our home and they take the photo gardens and they will not know, just picture. Then when we write down free vegetables, they walk through the garden, they take some and they ask to Sadhana and she said, this is manna from heaven. <laughs> so fine. It's the Din vine. Dinesh was telling me that they, they have like 200 different types of vegetables, but they only planted about 78. So, so literally, like God has given you vegetables that you did not plant, from what I understand. Oh, yes. Some part. It's all the way. One of my friend, local friends, he helped me the digging and the rotate using the rotator. Then immediately came kind of 100 kind of vegetables, which Nepali people like every twice meal for them. It came itself. And we're amazed. We, we're really surprised about that miracles. It's amazing. Um, now, ministry work is, is, I mean, you've shared some amazing things that God has done, but I know ministry work and the work that you're doing is not always easy. Uh, tell us about some of the, maybe some of the struggles, some of the challenges that you've had to face in the work that you've been doing lately. Challenges, leading even big or small group, always uh, heavy work. The when we were there, we thankful and grateful for the vines, all guys, your prayers. Pastor Tony visited us, Pastor John Mack and Ains visited us, Brother Blair, Thomas, and Brother Ken, uh, many friends, they came. Even that much, 
our keeping touch in the church continues supporting and praying for us. Our ministry is 24 hours service over there. Where, where they need, middle of the night, we need to be at in that place. When they start to go to church, their family members, they kick them out from their community, their house, because Hindu and the Buddhism is very strong people are there. So our care is really honestly serving these followers. In this journey is myself. I can't do anything without your prayer and grace by God and supporting my wife. We were working such a good things. The God gave us our necessary things, car, other things, house, vegetables, 40 goods, 40 goods, with energy goods, chickens, everything over there during this rejoice time. My parents passed away in Nepal. A uh, little ahead time. But suddenly my wife's parents, between two and a half months in January, uh, the September and January, they passed away. Had very hard time to do something. It is some part related, related us about the family relation plus our mission relations. Thomas and I are working together in Nepal. Everything like beach volleyball, we are working on team. And we bought some property, eastern part of Nepal, with my wife's mom. So my mother-in-law, she gave us 50% discount, almost two acres land for the vine property. We had some other more project. Suddenly she passed away. Then my wife had a very hard time. And I cannot say anything is kind of un almost, almost, she was in zero level. We were praying. She felt very lonely and depressed and depressed. And when we pray and go went to bed, you did not do that much before when we were here. And that night, we had a dream. Pastor Andrew came next to me. And he put his right hand under my neck, make me pillow. <laughs> and never had that kind of fruit with Christine. She brought fruit and keep on the table. It's my dream could not finish because my alarm phone ringing and I woke up. I was about to make something out of the fruit in the dream. I was going to make this amazing Thank meal. you. Yeah. And I explained my wife, hey, these things happen today. See how much our spiritual relations between our parents with spiritual parents, we are not alone. Even from behind, our spiritual parents are taking care for us, praying for us. See? How awesome is this? She said, yes, they are very far. <laughs> OK, very far. We pray together. This dream repeated and repeated three times. Then we knee down. We pray together. She healed. She feel parenthood, spiritually connection, and she is free. She has no depression, no sickness. She came back to work. She is with vine, even US, her uncle. She's Praise healthy God. now. Praise God. <laughs>